this hot. I wish I'd brought my hat. Here, my hat. You brought it in your backpack? Mm-hmm. Wow, thanks, Nash. High five, buddy. Whoa! Oops. <clears throat> How about I carry that for a bit? <sighs> I'm so hot. Whew. I'm sweaty. I'm hot and sweaty. Oh, I wish I brought some water. Ah! Water! Wawa, Wawa. For everybody. Thanks, Nash. Maybe bringing that backpack wasn't such a bad idea. Actually, it's turning out to be a really great idea. Hey, look! Rhinos? They're still a little far. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Nash. Yup. Let's go. Don't forget the backpack. I got it, buddy. I'll help. <gasps> Rhinos! We found them! Boy, they're big. One of the biggest land animals. Elephants are the biggest. Rhinos are so big that nothing around here eats them. Uh, what's up with those little birds? It looks like they're pecking at the rhinos' backs. Seeding bugs! I think you're right, Nash. The birds are picking bugs off the rhinos and eating them. I've heard of them. They're called oxpeckers. They help the rhinos by keeping them free of bugs. And the rhinos help the oxpeckers by giving them a source of food. No wonder the rhinos let the oxpeckers peck them. They're both getting something they need. Just like Nash helped us out today. Yeah, we never would have made it to see the rhinos without Nash and his backpack. And Nash would have never made it here with his backpack without everyone helping to carry it. I wonder what else he's got in there. <laughs> Whoa! Stuff! Teddy, bouncy ball, helmet, socks, book, flippers. My stuff! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we better help Nash get all of his stuff back into his backpack and get it all the way back to the polo mobile. Right, another hot, sweaty, thirsty hike to... Right over there. We barely left the polo mobile. Oh, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just really want my wish to come true for you all. You're my best friends. Audrey, what was it that flew past the ship? The object was an asteroid heading towards Earth. Earth? Gorby, that's great news! It is. Why? An asteroid's just a rock. A big, chunky rock floating through space. Like the ones in the asteroid belt, going around the sun between Mars and Jupiter. Yes, but when an asteroid reaches Earth and enters its atmosphere, it becomes a meteor, and then... What? Something cool? Tell us, Chester! We can't take the suspense! Take a look. Whoa, that meteor's bright. It looks like it's burning. That's because it is burning. When meteors enter the Earth's atmosphere, the friction of the air causes them to burn up and glow. It's actually on fire. Whoa! Whoa, Whoa that is cool. I mean, that is hot. <laughs> oh, Marco, yeah. So that's what I saw in the sky. <gasps> I did see a shooting star. Only it wasn't a star. It was a meteor burning up. That's a big polo yes on that one, Garby. Hey, look! More asteroids. Lots more. What's happening? Sometimes only one asteroid falls into the Earth's atmosphere. Wow, not this time. When there's a lot, like this. That's a meteor shower. Ooh. Whoa! Lots of shooting stars! <gasps> My wish did come true! Now all of you can make a wish. I wish for us to have adventures this fun every day. I was just gonna wish for that popsicle I wanted, but 
Your wish is way better. I wish for that too. Me too. Same here. Me too, me too. Or we can have both. <gasps> yeah? Popsicles for everyone. Oh, <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Gorby. And we're back. Just in time for the media shower. Yay! Meteors! And Popsicle! Wow! Whoa. Delicious! <gasps> Hippos really move fast. Hippos can actually run faster than people. That's surprising. They're so big. Prize! Prize! Knock our socks off, buddy. <laughs> Whoa! Nash is an acrobat. I didn't know he could do that. Surprising. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? <laughs> nice bum skating, Marco. Another surprising thing that one of us can do. <laughs> Thanks. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I like how they can keep their whole body underwater with just their nose and eyes sticking out so that they can breathe and see. That one was totally underwater. They must be able to hold their breath for a while. Hippos can stay underwater for up to five minutes at a time. And they can even sleep underwater and automatically come up to breathe without waking up. Wow! Amazing! Hey, look! Oh. Whoa! That hippo was really swimming fast! Wait a minute! Is it really swimming? Whoa! Wait till you see this! <gasps> it's running! Underwater! It's called an underwater gallop! Like a horse's gallop? Exactly. Now that's a surprise. Surprise! Yes. In fact, the word hippopotamus means river horse. That oh, is cool. that. Hippos are really surprising animals, aren't they? Well, what about you, Chester? What's the most surprising thing that you can do? Well... Surprisingly funky. <laughs> Thank you. What a surprising day. Hippos are surprising. And the polos are surprising. Speaking of us, I've got one more surprise for you. Ooh, I bet she's gonna sing. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, that was surprising. <laughs> That's right! First song, everybody out! Wow! Wow! wow. Elephant. Elephant! Cool! The elephant watering hole is my first favorite thing. Good one, Willow! Thanks! And now it's time for my favorite meal, breakfast. I could eat. What's next, Willow? You'll see. Amazon Rainforest? That's right. For my next favorite thing, zip lining through the canopy! Yay! 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 Yeah! Grand Canyon! Woohoo! Who wants breakfast? I know a great place for pancakes. Are we in Alaska? That's right. To see my favorite animal. Polar bears! I can't believe it's still morning. Yeah. We've had breakfast for breakfast, breakfast for lunch, breakfast for snack. It's been morning for the whole day. Hmm. And 
we still haven't surprised Willow. Surprise! <gasps> Autopilot on. Audrey, set course for Earth orbit. Autopilot on. Setting course for Earth orbit. So, how do you like my birthday so far? Isn't it the best birthday ever? It's the longest birthday ever. I know. You want to know why? Yes! I'll show you. I'll be the sun and Marco, you be the earth. Sure. Audrey, lower cabin lights. On the part of the earth facing the sun, it's day. Yeah, and on the part of the earth that's facing away from the sun, it's night. The earth is always turning. Marco, turn slowly in a circle. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to rotate, to go from day to night, back to day again. So we started one place where it was morning, the savanna, and kept flying in the same direction, towards morning in another place. Transforming to Polo Galactic. Polo Galactic entering Earth orbit. Ooh. Look, there's Earth. Day on one side, night on the other. Beautiful. My absolutely favorite, favorite place. I think this is the right time. Surprise! Surprise! Wow, Polos, thanks! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Willow! Willow, best 